Good morning, welcome to a new market update and today we're going to discuss why the Bitcoin weekly close is so terrible at least. I woke up today and everybody was discussing why the weekly close is such a shit show and we're going to go to 20k or even further down the line. However, usually the market doesn't reverse when it looks great. Um, we remember the March 2020 crash when Bitcoin was heavily down in a week and it reversed, it was the low. So um, we're going to discuss what the Bitcoin market is showing right now after we've had 10 red weekly candles on the hike in Ashi, not seen since 2014. So it's very normal that everybody is currently um, not feeling the bull vibes or not feeling the markets at all. That's also why the sentiment is such a shit show, but overall, the weekly close was terrible and through that the majority and even more people are looking for further downwards momentum. So let's get to that. But before that, do not forget to subscribe and eat, like this YouTube video um, and comment if you want to see some special content as from August 1st or August 14th, we're going to improve the YouTube channel a lot. So I've got a clean chart on Bitcoin here, as you can see. Um, I've not been making any TA on it yet. Why? Just to show you how the structure looks like. Um, everybody says it's a, it had a shoulder structure in which the target is minus 5k. But overall, what we can see is that based on the weekly time frame, we've got a clear support at 20k, which everybody and their mom want to long here. However, what we also have is that we got this entire range where Bitcoin has been bouncing on. You can see all those wicks. They have been acting as support and therefore could be granting support still. Now, the case is that we've got a very terrible weekly candle um, through which the expectations are that Bitcoin is going to fall down even more. And yes, the trend is still south, but overall um, what we are holding is still this support structure. So as long as Bitcoin stays, stays above it, it's not too bad. You can also have a weekly candle which completely um, regains everything that we've lost in the previous week. So you have to start zooming in on lower time frames. And when you do that, we are looking at the daily structure next. So what we see here is that Bitcoin is acting inside the support range that is acting as support overall, in which we can see that we've had tons and tons of wicks. What we also can see is that we've got a clear resistance of the range at 41k. Uh, we've rejected there in order and we've avoided any further upwards momentum here. And we've got a mid range resistance as well, which is at 35.6 to 35.9. So Everything in between is just a range bound structure in which we've not lost support. We've not lost or we've not gained resistance. Um, Wyckoff, well, if you believe in it, it's still valid. But overall, we've not lost anything at all. So stating that the weekly close is terrible um, is definitely true. But it shouldn't be an argument why the market is going to crash even further south. Um, it would be it wouldn't be a surprise to me that the market is going to make a reversal from here um, and just shut everybody's mouth that is expecting any further downwards momentum. So the higher time frames are quite clear. I'll just erase this structure for a little bit so you can see what the lower time frame structure shows. We can see that um, we've we've got this range right where we've been acting between. So 35.5 was critical to break. We've got this fake out. We've got a rejection once again. We've got another lower high and we've got another lower high. So when you look at this structure, what you are currently seeing is a downtrend, obviously. But we can also see that Bitcoin is acting at support and the final hurdle before um, 28 or at least the liquidity tab, the liquidity tab seems to be likely. So we've got this higher time frame support that um, Bitcoin has been acting in, right? Which is um, this deep wick as well with the high volume. So 
if 31k was lost and we've discussed it previous week if 31k is lost there's two scenarios one is we're going to take the liquidity beneath the low and immediately flip back uh, just like we have been doing with the spring or at least this deep wick here in order to have further upwards momentum as then the buyers are stepping in once again or when we lose this we're going to look at the next structure around 24k those are the two scenarios where we're looking at but right now as we can see the price of bitcoin is still acting at 31k and we're not losing it at all so what are the levels to watch on the upside it is still the same we still have to regain this level around 32 and a half so we can see that price has been bouncing on it as support and here we've lost it and turned its resistance so the lower bound is 31k that we're currently holding the upper bound is 32 and a half if it breaks out of any of these two levels which seems very likely to be happening within the next few days on the downside you know what i've just discussed a liquidity tab or at least beneath 29 or 28 and a half is next on the upside a breaker will immediately push bitcoin towards the level around 34.4 and that if you zoom out again is going to regain the entire weekly candle as that one opened at 34.2 and i expect that if bitcoin is going to make the breaker above the range resistance or at least above 32 and a half and gets to 34 and a half the chances of bitcoin being bottomed out are significantly increasing and i'm expecting altcoins to continue moving with bitcoin and i expect the sentiment to change significantly so always remain focused on price action 31k is still a very important level to watch i have discussed that previous week if we break 32 and a half we are continuing to 35k don't forget to subscribe i'll see you again tomorrow have a great day ciao ciao